Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your reading. This is going to be an intuitive general love message for past love, someone that you have history with. I will post a new love reading, so make sure notifications are turned on so you don't miss it. But just remember, energy is fluid, the roles could be reversed, and only take what you feel resonates with you. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then Spirit has a message for you. Okay, so if you are coming back, welcome back. If you are new here, welcome. Just so you're aware, I do not read reversals. So if a card comes out in the reverse, I will flip it upright. This is just how I've always read tarot. Just so you're aware. So let's see, Spirit. How does this past person feel about Sagittarius? Now, I do love reading Sagittarius, so this can obviously be a romantic partner. Um, this could be a friend. This could be family. Someone you have history with. History doesn't have to mean years and years. It can mean, um, you know, you've known them for like the last month. It's going to be different for everyone. Hmm. And tell me about the King of Pentacles. Wow. Someone here, Sagittarius, feels like you, like... There's an energy here that what they give to you isn't enough. That they feel like you might be better off with someone who's at the same career level as you or stature as you or who has the same success as you or something like that. They see you as someone who's accomplished a lot, someone who's very intelligent, someone who's worked really hard. And they feel like... You, like there's this energy here where they feel like you'd be... a you. They don't want you with someone else, but they feel like you connect more with this other person or even if this person doesn't exist yet in your life, it's like they just see you as someone who, excuse me, feels like you'd be more compatible with someone else who's on the same level as you, especially when it comes to work or money. This person feels like, like they care about you a lot. And they feel like you're very caring and you're very understanding, but they feel left behind by you in some way here. They feel like you, tell me more with that king and queen of pentacles, like you'd be better off without them. Yeah. Oh my. The two of cups. So I don't know if this is like, you've really connected with someone, you know, work wise, or they just assume you will. Um, or someone you go to school with, or someone who just has the same business mindset as you or something like that. This person feels like they could offer you a lot of love and, and compassion here, but it wouldn't be the same kind of connection you would receive from someone else. They feel like it'd be a better match somewhere else, and it makes this person feel left behind. Tell me about that Five of Pentacles. Ace of Wands. The Hanged Man. I don't know. It's almost like this person feels like they can't offer you the same thing. Anything else about that King and Queen of Pentacles? The Seven of Swords, the world. Now, for those of you who are like, no, there's no one in my life, like that's not true at all. It could be that this person has some sort of really strong connection elsewhere with work or something like that. Um, and they're not fully telling you about this. They could have said that this cycle was over, that it was completed, but it's not actually. This is a, like, there's a soul tie here. So while they see you as someone who's, you know, offered them so much love and companionship and um, understanding and compassion, they're very grateful for that, but they're also, like, not willing to give up this connection, whatever this is. And if it's not them, they feel like it's you. They feel like you wouldn't be willing to give up whatever this is over here. Um, this person feels like they can only offer you so much. 
Like they want to start things up here with you. They do. They feel stuck on you here, but they're like, it's just not, there's just something about incompatibility here. It's strange. It's like, even though this person has a lot of love for you or feels like you have a lot of love for them, there's this energy of, I just don't know if we're as compatible as someone else. Even if, again, that someone else doesn't exist or um, it's just an assumption, there's take it as, as it resonates. But if there is someone else here, there is a soul tie here. Makes this person really nervous, yeah. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. The Tower. The Five of Cups, yeah. You know, there's almost this energy here where this person is like the the love that you give to them, Sagittarius, the, the energy that you give to them is what they need. But they didn't realize that until it was too late. And they might even want to come towards you here with more like surface level energy, like it's just a friendship or it's just whatever, like just want to check in, see how you're doing or, you know, but it's deeper than that. But there's also some other connection here. This is kind of confusing. I'm not going to lie. We have Scorpio, Taurus, Pisces energy so far. I don't usually go to this deck for their actions, but I feel like I need to. Let's see this person's actions towards you in the next two to four weeks. Could be a little less, could be a little more. Page of Cups, definitely reaching out. Some sort of apology here. Yeah, Three of Wands. I think about it a lot. It's like the time is now. The Two of Wands. When they see their future, they see you in it. They just don't know exactly what that looks like. Just give it time. Give it patience. Temperance energy. Sag that's your energy, Sagittarius. See all these cards looking towards the temperance card? It's like they see you in their future. They do know that, but they just don't know exactly what that looks like. Tell me about the Page of Cups. The Fool. They're going to take a risk. They're going to come towards you here. So even if it was this person who was connected to someone else here and has some, some sort of soul tie, some sort of soulmate connection here that they haven't fully told you about or whatever it might be, they're still coming towards you here. They're taking a risk here. But the Six of Pentacles tells me that this person is still giving energy to like multiple situations here. So it could be that like, you know, maybe this was a serious person in their life and they're just friends now. That friendship will still remain. Like they're still going to give energy to it. <laughs> Sorry, Sagittarius. Um... But they see you in their future. So they're definitely taking a risk. They're taking some sort of leap of faith towards you here. Wanting you to know like you're important too. You're like on their list of priorities. But I do still, tell me about the Six of Pentacles. I do still feel like there's something else here. The Magician, Gemini, Virgo, Energy. They're going to do whatever it takes. Oh wow, the Ten of Pentacles. I mean, they want to let you know that they're serious about this, about you. Like they don't want to lose you is what I'm getting. I don't know that's sort of like king queen of pentacles there that really stands out to me like it really anything else about that king and queen of pentacles like maybe there's something here i'm not getting the six of wands judgment yeah I, I don't know it feels like could have even been like a very public relationship that they had or something like that And again, if it's not them and it's you, they feel like you're giving energy to something else here. I don't know. This is confusing. I'm not going to lie to you. I almost feel like I want to start this reading all over again, Sagittarius, because I'm like, what is going on? Like, whose energy is whose? There's there's more than just you and this person involved, that's for sure. Um, I don't know. It feels confusing. It feels like what I do know is that this person's actions are saying, I don't want to lose you, Sagittarius. I want you in my life. I want something serious. I want to build towards something. I only see you in the future here. 
but there's something else here, either on your end or their end, that is still lingering. So what's this person's intentions then? They're definitely going to reach out though. Wow, the Queen of Cups, the Ace of Cups. The star, they want to fix this. The love that you gave to, look at this, the King of Pentacles, or the King of Cups, sorry, at the bottom. The love that you gave this person, the understanding, the compassion that you gave this person, they're trying, they want to reciprocate that. They're like you, they feel like you've given them much more grace and understanding than they ever gave you. And they're like, they realize that. They're like, I need to, I need to show Sagittarius. Like my intention here is to start fresh with them, to love on them the way they've loved me, to heal this, to fix this. This is Aquarius energy. It feels like maybe this person could have been more focused even on work or something like that or a business or something. I don't know. That doesn't necessarily have to be romantic, that king and queen of pentacles. That can just be like two friends who started a business who like very goal oriented and they put all their energy into that meanwhile you're like loving on them showing them all the understanding compassion and they feel like they messed up because they didn't give you the, the time of day that they should have right and so maybe you've pulled back now and they feel left behind and they're like i gotta take this leap of faith i gotta take this risk i need to let sagittarius know like i'm serious and this person's intentions look good like they look like they want to start fresh with you they they have a lot of love for you. They care. Anything else for intentions? The Hermit. They've thought about this a lot. Virgo energy. They've thought about this a lot. The King of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. This is someone who's like, I'm going to step up. I'm going to show you. They're going to be confident in how, like, they, their intention here is to, like, know what they want and go for it maybe that was the problem before that they didn't know exactly what they wanted because there was some other connection here that was getting in the way or work or something like that was just getting in the way and they gave more energy to that what's weird though is they can't think about you Sagittarius without also thinking about whatever that is so I don't know if it's on your end or their end but whatever that work thing is or that power couple thing or that business idea or whatever like it feels maybe it's even parents multitasking right they feel like if you're say a parent with someone else and they're not like they could feel like you two will always have some sort of connection there that they just won't understand but they prioritize other things here I don't know it feel, but it feels like this person wants to start fresh we got two aces here and their intentions this person is like you know not let's put the past behind us like it never happened, but like they do want a fresh start here with you. So what's the potential outcome then? The Nine of Cups, the Six of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, wow. The High Priestess, wow. I see judgment at the bottom. This is someone who's like, I'm not waiting anymore. We're supposed to be together. This is faded. This is destiny. This is a dream come true. Like I'm going to I'm going to prioritize this. I'm going to put the energy into this. They feel it with the high priestess card. They feel some sort of pull towards you here. I keep getting with that 6 of pentacles though that there's still something else like tell me about the 6 of pentacles. There's still something else that they kind of put their energy towards here. Yeah, the devil and the 7 of pentacles. I don't know. It could even be just be money for this person. Like they're very caught up in like making sure their money's right all the time. It like almost like takes over. Tell me more about the Six of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, and the Four. This person's very stuck on like stability. They're like being stable is very, very important. Being successful could even be very, very important to this person. Being recognized for their success, perhaps. I mean, when it comes to you, they feel like it's a dream come true. They feel like they want to make you happy. It, it looks like it's reciprocal, but they're still sort of investing their time into something else here. And it feels like this person's always thinking. They're always thinking about the next steps. They're always thinking about how can I better my future or better this. And again, it could be with a business partner here. Or could they could just be obsessed with the idea of success with that double energy. But this person's coming towards you. They're like, you know, you're you're it. You're my dream come true, Sagittarius. So I don't know. This feels... You might even feel confused by this person. 
I'm never gonna lie and say, you know, I can see this very clearly. It feels muddled to me. And maybe that's because there's more than just you and this person's energy here. But it just feels like there's like this sort of almost like obsession with, I gotta make sure I plant the seeds now so that I'm good later. Um, so that I'm successful, so that I can celebrate. And again, it might be money, it might be their career. And then maybe they have someone in their life who's the same sort of mindset. Um, okay. Anything else about that devil? The tower. Scorpio energy, the five of wands. It's almost like, it's almost like it's gonna hit this person like a ton of bricks that they, they can't do this. Like with that six of pentacles, they can't keep giving energy to literally absolutely everything and everyone. Like they have to slow down and they have to choose what they're investing in. And if you're their, their nine of cups, their, their dream come true. Like, I feel like this is even you like setting boundaries with them being like, look, like, what is it? Where are you giving your energy to? It's not like you're like, you can't go to work, but you can't, you know, give me 5% of your time. Like that's not going to work. So there might even be some sort of argument over that coming up. How will Sagittarius know who this is? We have Capricorn energy. Wow, we have the Empress. And there's that King of Cups. My gosh, the Three of Cups. The Lovers. Oh, wow. Gemini, Taurus, Libra energy. This is someone who feels like they have to choose. They have to choose between, like, abundance here, like, money, like business or whatever it is and love king and queen of cups king and queen of pentacles it's like what are they giving their energy here to could even be be just like long-standing relationships that they've had that are just really focused on like again success it's like they have to choose here this is like this person actually is like very like they have a very nurturing energy to them. But like they may not be nurturing the right things, if that makes sense. Like it's like you see them as so prosperous, so abundant, but like they're giving their energy to the wrong people or the wrong situations. But I feel confused, Sagittarius. Like <laughs> let me know in the comments if this is making sense because this like I feel all over the place. I feel like I don't even know what I'm talking about. So I'm hoping it's making sense for you, but yeah, this person wants a new chance with you. Like they do, they want a fresh start. They want to be that person to match your energy, to give you exactly what you need to, but it's almost like they feel like they have to choose sometimes. Why the lovers? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it just said they have to choose seven of cups. It's like, what do they give their energy to? Right? If this person is like money is the most important, success is the most important, then they have to put all their energy into that, but it doesn't leave room for you and them in the same way. Right? Like this this person get I feel like it's like hyper focused on things. They do care, but they're it's like they're trying to do too much at once or something like that. Any advice for Sagittarius? Take it slow, Knight of Pentacles. The chariot, cancer energy, the six of wands, the five of, five of swords. And I see the five of wands again at the bottom. It's like, take it slow. Like, allow this person to earn your trust back. Right? You get to decide where this goes. And if this person's, like, pride or ego or success is, like, it feels too much. It feels like they're, like, playing games with you or they're, like, saying one thing and doing another. Just, you know, call them out for it. But take it slow is, like, the number one thing here. It feels like Sagittarius. Look at it. You cannot make this up. Career. Business, success, advancement. That's what it feels like. It feels like this person is very heavily focused on that. And again, there might be someone in their energy that helps them get there. Or they feel like you're so obsessed with career and advancement and they can't help you get there the same way. But that's the first card out. We did get travel, vacation, honeymoon, enjoyment. And look at Triangle. Yeah, it just, it feel, like, I, I don't know, it feels like I'm picking up on so many energies and then I just feel confused. Like, I'm like, what is what? 
because there is some deception going on here. Let me just see. What, tell me about that Seven of Swords. There is some deception here. Oh my gosh, look, the lovers. The Eight of Wands. Like there's, there, there's definitely some other connection here that's not being talked about or being diminished in some way. We're getting triangle. You're getting the lovers twice, the choice. I'd clarify the lovers with the Seven of Cups. Like there's choices here. There's options here. And again, it could just be about career. It doesn't have to be like, you know, um, when the lovers comes out, we can obviously think it's another romantic partner. It could be. But all throughout this reading, we didn't get the three of swords. We didn't get this as like a third party situation, like someone's like breaking someone else's heart. It just feels like, like where they're putting their energy. But it could feel like that. It could feel like this person pays so much more attention to their work partner or they're always on their phone with emails or whatever that it feels like a third party, right? Um, this is so interesting, Sagittarius. Let's see if there's any hidden messages from this person. I'm not sure I can meet your expectations. The pressure is too much for me. So this person could feel like there's a lot of pressure. Like I said, they can't, they're not as compatible as maybe someone else would be. I cannot be vulnerable with you. I'd rather hide in the darkness before I'd let you see inside me. This connection bores me to death. I need something more exciting, right? And so I always say when that card comes out, Sagittarius, like if we're like this healthy sort of energy coming towards someone with a lot of care and a lot of understanding and they're used to up and down, they're used to chaos, they're used to fighting, it can feel boring, right? But it doesn't mean that it's not healthy. But then look, I feel unbalanced and uneasy. I don't know what to do to fix it. It's like this person is like back and forth. <sighs> Very confusing. We did get big happy changes. And like I said, you got the, the Wheel of Fortune and the Nine of Cups in the potential outcome. So there's big happy changes here, Sagittarius. Like there is a wish come true here. Let me see if I can clarify that. Clarify big happy changes. There's that Three of Swords. And the, it's the end. It's the end of that era, perhaps. It's like transformation here. It's like... Because I was surprised the Three of Swords didn't come out this whole time. Maybe it's the end of feeling like that. The end of feeling like the third wheel or the third energy. Or like there's this other energy that's always taking up time and space or something like that. Um, but it is it is happening. Like the Wheel of Fortune is here. Huh. Service. I feel good when I can help others. And patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order. Right? Like there is something like something is transforming here we got the cosmic heart devotion potency make your life a moving prayer interesting i don't think i've ever gotten this card let me just read it when you when you surrender to a state of devotion you find yourself flowing with all of life you're being called to refocus your attention deep within to the intelligence of your own heart, to bow with deep reverence to your inner temple, to live your life in devotion to this place, to make your life one big moving prayer. Perhaps you felt a bit off lately, sensing that the potency of why you're doing things has gotten a little watered down or weak. Perhaps you've forgotten what made you start doing them in the first place. If so, this is your call to take a moment and reconnect with the truth at the very center of your heart to get back to the essence of what you're about, to devote your life to what you care most about, to turn your gaze deep, 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 deep. Um, right now you're being called to plant your soul's seeds and to sing to them with deep devotion, to feed them with the sweet waters of your own soul, to lose yourself in the potency of what is the most that expands your heart. So really just that self-love, self-care, give your energy to what feels good to you. And if it if it is this person, it is this person. But it's your call here. Did you get new life? But I, I'm not going to lie, Sagittarius. Like, there's a part of me that doesn't even want to upload this reading because I feel like I'm so confused by it. I'm hoping it's making sense to you. But it feels really muddled. 
it's not a clear message to me at all. So I don't even know if it's helpful because <laughs> I'm always trying to like, you know, give a little guidance through spirit, but it just feels like, um, confusing. I mean, like I said, there are big happy changes here. Like it is going to work out in your favor. It's just unsure of exactly what that looks like. But we got, you must acknowledge your inexperience and gently allow yourself to be like the delicate new bud opening. It's okay to admit you may not know something. <laughs> yeah, I definitely don't know what's going on here. Thank you, spirit. Um, you are at the beginning of things and haven't yet hit your stride. Be immersed in the newness of it all. Don't try to rush the learning process. New life has its own timetable for maturity. Be here now. Life loves you. I mean, I hope this was this was helpful in some way, Sagittarius. Um, it's going to work out no matter what here. I feel like intuitively you know that. But yeah, of course, there could still be questions that you have, which I can understand. So um, if that's the case, you can always click the link in my description box below. Um, there is a link there for connecting to a love psychic and your first five minutes with them will be completely free. So you can always ask them questions about this person, about clarity around if there is like another energy here. Um, see what that's all about. Yeah, because I'm confused, I'm not gonna lie. But let's see. So these could be initials of you, of this person. Maybe numbers you've been seeing, birth dates, significant dates. Take it as it resonates. If something here doesn't resonate, though, it doesn't mean it wasn't your reading. So we got P, I, K, M, the number two, and the number five. Okay, so I hope something resonated. <laughs> if it did, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn to do so. Thank you so, so much for all your beautiful energy. I am sending you so much love and so much light.